What's up everybody? Brock here, aka the Brockness Monster. And today I've got another comic book mystery box. And this one is going to come from Silverback Graphics. So here's what the package looks like. And it's got a lot of extra tape and stuff on there just to keep it secure. Uh, this was $50 shipped. And there was a grand prize and it was an Adam Hughes Virgin variant for Amazing Spider-Man number one from the current series, and it was graded CGC 9.8. So uh, the way he does it is there'll be like a little pouch thing in there, and it'll tell you if you won the grand prize or not. So let's get into this and see what we got from Silverback Graphics. So as you can see, if you look at the side of this, there's like something else taped to the back of the comic book box. So I'm gonna get into that, and we will see what we got. All right, we got everything open, and I think old uh, Boss Kong was kind of trolling me a little bit, because last time he had sort of like a cardboard insert for padding, and this time what was uh, taped to the back of the like actual comics, there was, what ended up being in there was a one, it was a one out of ten art print from Boss Kong, or Silverback Graphics, and uh, it's titled The Amazing Spider Ape. It's a limited edition print. It's 6 of 10, and we got sort of a signed, like, COA thing on the back there. Very cool. But, like I said, I think he was trolling me because I had this in there. said, this is just a cardboard insert. But then also, there was another piece of uh, padding that said, this is just a cardboard insert. No need to keep investigating this piece of cardboard. So, like I said, I think he was trolling me because last time I, I spent some time cutting open what ended up just being like a cardboard padding that he had made. But anyway, it says, enjoy this original art print. If you like this print and enjoy your box, use the coupon code. There was a coupon code attached. Um, you can also reach out as Boss Kong takes commissions as well. This print is only available through this silverback box. And only 10 of them enjoy Boss Kong. So very cool. So there's the art print again. The Amazing Spider Ape. That's pretty cool. All right. And on to the books. So as you'll see on the front of the comic book box, there is the pouch that I was talking about. And he even put a little message that says, look, pull tab. So we'll go ahead and pull that off. Save that for the end. See if we won the grand prize. And let's get into the comics. Um, so the last round of the Silverback Graphic Box that I purchased, I actually got two of them. And uh, they were both really good boxes, so that's why I went back into it. All right. We got another uh, bonus little info about the promo code. All right, and on to the books. And he always attaches a paper that tells you everything you got. I will save that till the end. And let's see what we got. All right. Got a pretty good stack of books here. So we'll start from the top here. And we got a G.I. Joe number 10. And he's got a note inserted. He says, I know it's lower grade, but it's an awesome joke key, and it doesn't go towards your book count. So that's just an extra throw-in that he did. So G.I. Joe number 10. Very cool. I do uh, collect G.I. Joe. All right. So then we get to the actual box. That was just a throw-in. We got Dark Horse Monsters number one. Very cool. All right. We've got The Invincible Iron Man, number 29. All right. We have, looks like, Lobo, number three. Uh, in Fate Side, book three of four. So it's a Lobo miniseries, looks like. All right. Next one, we got Rom, number 68. So Rom Space Knight. Very cool. I do have some ROM Space Knight, but not a lot. 
I have like the, the X-Men crossover issues. I've got a uh, copy of number one and a few other ones. All right. We got the Ultimates annual number two. And like I said, I'll read the uh, paper after I go through everything. It'll tell what each book is. So um, we've got Western Gunfighters number nine. So some uh, Bronze Age Marvel Western featuring Black Rider, Apache Kid, Outlaw Kid. So pretty cool. All right, next one. Thor number 289. So I do have a pretty good, pretty good size collection of Thor books um, from this era. I do not have this issue, though, so that's cool. All right, and a 90s classic. We got X-Men 2099 number one. I think I have like two or three copies of this already, so very cool. All right, we got Peacemaker number four from DC Comics. And of course, Peacemaker is being played by John Cena. Oh, another 90s staple, X-Men number one from the Jim Lee series. Uh, again, another one, pretty sure I have like three or four copies of this exact one, because of course there was like five different covers. All right, next one, looks like we got uh, maybe an Ashcan, New Avengers number 10. Uh, there's something on the back. Um, these Ashcan books are printed for... The Army Air Force Exchange Stores exclusively. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Very cool. All right. And we are down to our last one. Looks like we got a book in Mylar with a fullback. We got... Oh, okay. Awesome. Amazing Spider-Man 362. Second appearance of Carnage. Very, very cool. So obviously that's going to be the hit of the box. And now let us go on to the pouch and see, did we win the grand prize? So we've got a silverback graphics refrigerator magnet. And it says, are you a grand prize winner? Open this pouch and pouch and find out and there's a little slip of paper and not a winner this time please try again all right so now we'll go over the paper real quick so we've got gi joe number 10 first appearance of dr venom and that was a throw-in book uh dark horse monsters one a collection of monster stories from dark horse's early days before they were nationally distributed invincible iron man number 29 debut of rescue's new armor First appearance of the Detroit Steel app. Uh, Lobo and Fantaside number three. All of Lobo's bastard sons from across the galaxies team up to kill Lobo. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, ROM 68. First appearance of uh, Automata. Ultimate Annual 2. First appearance Ultimate Universe. Artem Zola. Sieg Soldat and Marauders. Um, da 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 da. Okay, Western Gunfighters 9, first appearance of Mad Wolf, Hatchet, Hans, and White Chief, Death of Chuck Norman. Okay, Mighty Four 289, Lady Sif bonds with Destroyer. Interesting. Uh, X-Men 2099, number one. First appearance of Bloodhawk, X-Men 2099, Junk Pile, Singe, and the GNS. And Peacemaker, number four, conclusion of volume two of Peacemaker, Death of Dr. Zin Zin and Dr. Abernathy. Then, of course, X-Men number one, German Lee series, first appearance of X-Men Blue, X-Men Gold, and the Acolytes. Um, then the Ashcan, it says on here, rare book, CD notes on reverse, which we already did. And then, of course, Amazing Spider-Man 362, second appearance and origin of Carnage. So, very cool. Um, like I said, second appearance of Carnage, awesome. All the extra throw-ins, awesome. I really like these silverback boxes. Um, I like the way he presents everything and gives you the box breakdown and it's just it's a little more fun to open than, than some other boxes out there. So, all right, guys, that's it for this one and we will see you on the next one. Thanks.